Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. Brashard Smith had an incredible kick return. Joe Test did a great job calling that one. One of the Upmen takes it. And he'll get back past the 30. Told us that this kid just soaks it all in, man. He's the first one in there. Beat him to the facility the other day. And here's Sprague in trouble. Gets out of it. Able to get some positive yardage out of that. Gets a four-yard gain there. The Daytona Beach School. Sprague with time. Out to the sideline to Allen Johnson again. And enough for the first down, it looks like, or at least it's going to be close. I mean, it's running back kind of by committee. But what I love about him the most is his physicality that he brings. So I would like to see Miami try to get him a little bit more involved in the passing game. Well, you see Xavier Restrepo involved in the passing game there. A monster gain there over the middle, 20 yards, 45-yard line. They continue to show just how much chemistry they have. And just a great feel, great touch pass right there by... In the gun to begin this one, first and ten for Miami. Van Dyke with plenty of time to the boundary. Complete there to Jacoby George, who had a hat trick last week. Three touchdowns. Intermediate passes to try to force that defense now to come up and try to make a play. Look for them to go play action deep over the top here soon. Miami going with tempo. Parrish gets through a tackler and taken down after another first down for Parrish. And Dyke coming off a five touchdown game against Texas A&M. And Van Dyke with the keeper, and he walks into the end zone for the touchdown. A 10 yard scamper by Tyler Van Dyke, adding to that touchdown total, this time on the ground. Himself out there, getting a great feel for the game. The defensive end comes down the line of scrimmage, he pulls it, and he just gets into that. Second and 10 for Miami, Van Dyke. Plenty of time. Has a man. It is caught and complete for a first down to Jacoby George. A gain of 11 on that one. Young man went from safety to linebacker now. Van Dyke all day to throw. Fires over the middle to Restrepo and he comes up with it. Another big play for Xavier Restrepo down to the 15 yard line. Just a nice little seam route here last week. But this is a dive. A couple times a game, this is him just understanding the. Ball on the 17. Van Dyke play action. Finds the tight end, McCormick. The six-year player out of Oregon who's very familiar with Mario Cristobal. An incredible blocker. Van Dyke to Allen. Makes a man miss and gets it to the end zone. Another touchdown for the Canes. As a Miami Hurricane. The third of his career, 11 plays, 93 yards, and the Canes are up two touchdowns. Basil in the backfield with him. And they hand it off to Basil, who picks up a nice gain there. Again, Corey Flagg was in his face. They hand off to Basil. Basil picks up another nice chunk of change there as he gets nine yards on that play. Van Dyke, a career high passing last week versus Texas A&M. Throws it to the boundary to Jacoby George. A freshman. He hasn't played a ton of football, right? I thought he did a heck of a job of holding his own out there and shoring up that right side for Van Dyke. Van Dyke all day there to throw to Restrepo. Picks up another first down as he goes out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Able to catch it in bounds as well. 21-yard gain. Miami in business inside the red zone. Quick toss to Jacoby George down the sidelines into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Jacoby George added more to the Miami lead. Here, Jacoby George, fresh off three TDs last week, adds a fourth for the season, his fifth of his career. Miami, after a missed extra point, up 20 to nothing. Put in a challenging position. Francisco Maui Goa showing blitz. Here they come, and the Canes swallow up Bethea near the 15-yard line. He got his first victory as a head coach last week against Savannah State. Canes, handoff up the middle. Chaney with a huge run there. Getting healthy at the right time, though. Gets it again. Big hole on the left side. Dragging defenders and gets another first down after... He's still going. <laughs> what a run there. 
down. Get a first down here. The handoff to Cheney. Walks into the end zone. Touchdown Miami. And strumming the guitar. Career Cheney. All rush yards on that drive. Four for 55. Cheney all the way. Okay. George Sedano ran Orlando Franklin and Marilyn Payne with you here. Jimmy Robinson up the middle and swallowed up immediately for a loss there. The tackle for Bethune Cookman, third and five here. The Wildcats showing blitz. Here they come. They pick it up, Miami does, and a toss over the middle for a first down to Colby Young. Down there on the sideline. Bethune Cookman showing blitz again, and here they come. Miami picks it up. Van Dyke to the end zone. saying he had it they hand off to Parrish bounces it out to the left side picks up the first down an 11 yard gain for Henry Parrish it's just reality <laughs> first and 10 for Miami here Van Dyke play action to Young dives into the end zone loses the football flags are flying on the play Bethune Cookman will recover in the end zone it'll be a touchback but let's see what the laundry's about Ruling on the field is a catch fumble recovered by the defense for a touchback. Personal foul targeting defense number eight. That play is under further review. After further review, there is no foul for targeting. The result of the play is a recovery by the defense for a touchback. First down, Bethune Cookman. Van Dyke going to work. Plenty of time. Over the middle to Restrepo. It's caught. And taken down near midfield. Restrepo hurrying this thing up. Takes the snap. Throws it down the sideline to Restrepo. And Restrepo runs out of bounds. In inbounds. 33 seconds left in the half. Van Dyke. Got time. Goes over the middle. Got a man. Touchdown. Touchdown Miami for Shard Smith. Playing Tampa 2. The middle linebacker dropping straight back. Tyler Van Dyke does a great job of holding the safety with his eyes and exposing the middle of the field right there. Third and one here for the Wildcats. Miami showing blitz. Here they come. Quick toss there and a completion for a first down to Tink Boyd. Need your best play right here to continue to have this drive, have success on this drive. Miami drops back in coverage. Bethea is going to take off and run, and he gets taken down. First down for Bethea. Yet another first down for this walk. Bethea starting to look a little more comfortable out there. Bethea under pressure. Spins out of trouble and loses the football. The ball is on the ground. Miami recovers it. Jacob Lichtenstein. And moving the ball. Miami's defense able to come up huge by playing and working their butt off to make sure that they can have a big time play. Francisco Maui Noah causing the bubble. Six of those, five of them to Xavier Restrepo. Williams dancing back there, sidearms it to Colby Young. Young trying to stretch for the first down near the 40 yard line. He'll be just shy, it looks like. Bunch formation for the Canes. They hand it off. Bounces over the right side as A.J. Allen picks up the first down and then some as he's dropped near midfield at the 47-yard line. I could have had a chance. I'll put you on my back, baby. <laughs> you do that every week, partner. <laughs> Henry Williams down the field. He's got a man. It is... Complete! They'll give him the catch. Yard gain there. Emory Williams to Brashard Smith. He did get two. He got two feet down there, actually. Tackle there made by Omari Hill Robinson. Yeah, Brashard. Five seconds on the play clock. They hand it off to Allen. Bouncing it out. Gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. A.J. Allen. One gap at a time. And just saying, I'm just faster than you. I'm going to take the edge right here. Great job by the Miami offensive line. In trouble, and Bethea goes down. A number of canes there. 
Chase Smith there with the sack. Fourth sack for the Canes. They had three in their first two games. But there goes down the field. Flag on the play. And they're going to say it's a catch. There he is. He is in the backfield with Emory Williams. Second and nine. Williams with time. Goes to the sideline. Completes it there to Tyler Harrell, who picks up a first down. Was the uh, second offense, you know, with the quarterback in there going down the field and scoring. We're going to get some more guys involved, play some more football. Thanks for the time. Thank you. There's Coach Cristobal with Maryland. Yeah. So north to talk to you till allegedly like one in the morning, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, Coach Cristobal got in that car and he was just like, hey, hold on. I'm going to call you back here in a second. Never got that call back, George. But about an hour and 15 minutes later, Got a knock at the front door, and now Miami's rumbling back, winning some football games. So they're back at the top where kids are looking at this, saying, I want to go there and be there one day. Another catch there by Robbie Washington. Picks up another first down. A gain of 18 on the play. Just a great job accelerating off the line of scrimmage, recognizing that Cookman's playing zone, sitting down in the zone, and running and getting. Fairly impressive. Outside of a few plays here and there, he dumps it off to Jaleel Skinner, the tight end. His first action of the season against Ohio State at Oregon. That was at Ohio State. Chris Johnson, you see the speed down the sideline in the end zone. Touchdown! Chris Johnson turned on the Jets and tacked on six more for the game. And the talent is on full display for the University of Miami after a big win against Texas A&M. No letdown here in South Florida. Simmons drops back under pressure. He's going to take off and run down the sideline near the sticks and pushed out of bounds by Marcellus Puglia tonight either. Yeah, that's huge for this whole entire football team because you don't want to. Picked off on the free play. Richard running it back and taken down near the 30 yard line. Don't get in there that often, to your point. Here comes pressure. Simmons finds his man. Down the sideline is Lindsay cutting back inside and taken down on the board here. They don't want to get shut out. Oh, and the incredible play there. Damari Brown like a heat-seeking missile. To disrupt the backfield. This week it's Damari Brown just coming in with bad intentions and meeting the running back as he's getting the football and just taking it to Lindsay right there. I've never seen one. You don't see the helmet fly that far that often. Simmons finds a man. He's open. It's Basil out of the backfield. Makes a man miss. Diving towards the end zone and taken down inside the five. Okay. And if you're Cookman's offense, you want to get on the board. Simmons with the keeper tries to get to the pylon. He reaches in. Touchdown. Love the play call. It's a run all the way. And Walter Simmons is trying to get to the edge. He knows that Miami's playing a tightened down form of defense because they've been blitzing a lot in the second half. And he uses the athleticism right there to get Cookman on the board. Or had a mild case of Down syndrome. They were best friends. So do that. Pondered to different ways to honor his brother. Has a big return there for Miami. Love the fact that Miami right there is still giving the opportunity to the young guys to get better. You know, they could have came out and took a knee, but you got to love that these guys have played all the way through the whistle. No drop off for this Canes team on a short week. You know, coming out here and finding a way to get it done tonight. Give me something. Give me something.